are happy to support KJS United's hockey team. Uh, I am a hockey parent like most of you are, and uh, if you're ever involved in an accident, that be an auto accident, a trucking accident, a slip and fall, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'd be happy to give you a free consultation. You could also look us up at njlawresults.com. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at Max MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. With the Planet Fitness Black Card, you don't just get a great workout, you get a great perk out because your membership is packed with perks. Join for just $1 down and $24.99 a month. Offer available at Planet Fitness in Hackettstown, located off of Route 57 next to ShopRite. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing Wes offers is freedom the freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. Are you craving a delicious meal in a vibrant and lively atmosphere? Lakeside Sports Bar and Grill brings you the perfect blend of mouthwatering Tex-Mex cuisine, like juicy burgers, loaded nachos, and sizzling steaks, with an extensive selection of drinks. Join us for karaoke night, Latin night, and more. It's the ultimate dining and entertainment experience. Stuber Insurance Agency, we work diligently to make sure you get the right insurance for you, your family, and your employees. Within our carefully selected group of financially sound insurance companies, our goal is to find you the best coverage at the most competitive prices. Visit us online to request a quote or make an appointment at 115 Mill Street in Hackettstown. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative, I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for precise job scope. 
Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. With the Planet Fitness Black Card, you don't just get a great workout, you get a great perk out because your membership is packed with perks. Join for just $1 down and $24.99 a month. Offer available at Planet Fitness in Hackettstown, located off of Route 57 next to ShopRite. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. It's the sale everybody's been waiting for. Burke's Furniture and Mattress President's Day Sale is going on now. This queen bed was $7.99, now just $3.98. This double shade sectional was $18.99, now just $11.98. This seven piece dining was $12.99, now just $6.98. We pay your sales tax or up to 48 months, no interest financing, plus free delivery. Don't miss this unprecedented President's Day Sale. At Burke's Furniture and Mattress. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures. Third down to give. Montella cuts back up the middle, and he's over oh. a thousand yards, and he's off to the races. Up in the air, blocked down! Don't be here, wide open net. Too easy right there. Molly Chapman, she'll take off in the wing. That one's good. Webb trying to get the pin! Here we go! And it goes! The pin Great senior night ceremony here at Lenby Valley High School. A 63 save performance by Casey Connor, the Crimson. And he break his record. Oh, 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 the Edwards oh, 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 wins it. First game of your conference schedule. So good, and we're all so pumped and just happy to look. And up ahead tonight on more Sussex.
And welcome to Centenary University here in Hackettstown, New Jersey, as Big State Sports presents the HWS Championship Games. That first game will be the boys' game. That will pit number 300 in Central against number five, Vernon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dan Clear. We want to thank everyone for joining us as we will give you the game time temperature, 41 degrees here in Hackettstown, brought to you by our friends at ICS. They keep you warm when it's cold, cold when it's warm. It's ICS. Go to ICSHVAC.com for all your comfort needs. We want to thank them and thank our sponsors. Burke's Furniture and Mattress, now through President's Day, Burke's Furniture and Mattress is having their biggest sale. Burke's is axing the tax or, or go up 48 months in no interest. It's Burke's. Don't miss his unprecedented president, president sale. Visit us at our two locations on Mount Ave and Hackettstown, 908-269-8725. The New Jersey Sea Dragons have their new facility being opened soon in Mount Olive. They'll have everything you need for swimming. Competitive swim team, learn how to swim, American Red Cross, lifeguard training, pool parties, a swim gym, everything you need. Use the QR code in the broadcast and mention Garden State Sports or Big State Sports for free registration. We teach, we train, we compete. We are the New Jersey Sea Dragons. And Blue Nail Exteriors, from roofing and siding to windows and doors, we're committed to delivering quality craftsmanship, professional service, and long-lasting results. Choose knowledge, choose trust, choose Blue Nail Exteriors for your home. And Wolf Gym in Morris County, your premier training facility, they have something for everybody, whether you're a bodybuilder, Power lifter, athlete, if there's someone to get into shape, check them out. Route 206, uh, two, excuse me, located at 207 Route 46 in Bud Lake. We want to thank all of those sponsors. So we're going to bring in my partner, Brian Thomas. Brian, we got to see both of these teams last week. Vernon knocked off the top seed, Phillipsburg, and a put back by Ben Jurowitz and Hunter and Central in a real tough battle, defensive battle, held off the number two seed. Delaware Valley, so neither top seed is in the championship game, showing how much parity there is in the HWS. But let's talk about this Vernon team. You've seen them a lot. They go as well as Alex Fessel, Ben Jurowitz, and Demir Morfchess. Talk about this Vikings team. Yeah, Dan, there's no doubt about that. And they are playing their best basketball at the right time of the year. And you mentioned it. Alex Fessel is the head of the snake, both offensively and defensively. Big Ben Jerowitz down low has been huge for them, not only just putbacks and finishes, but rebounding block shots and defensively as well. And of course, Demir Morph Chess has been great in all around efforts. If they play an excellent game today like they did last week, I think they got a real good shot here, but they're going to have to bring their A game, obviously, because Hunter and Central is not to be toyed with. In the HWS, they were able to beat Lenby Valley 74 57, the 12 seed, then they beat. Hackettstown, their nemesis, who they lost to twice in the regular season, 56-34, their number four seed, and then they knocked off Phillipsburg over at Wallkill Valley. Uh, Phillipsburg was missing Andrew Martin, one of their top players, but it was a great win for them. Vernon wins tonight. It'll be their first county championship since 2007, the old Sussex County Interscholastic League days. So it was their last championship, and Steve Myron, assistant coach from Vernon, was on that team. They beat... I'm sorry to say this, they beat Sparta oh in boy. overtime, Brian <laughs> Thomas. They had a bunch of great players on that play. Nick Series is on that team. Steve Meyer, Rich Fazio, David Jacob, Greg Sturm. A real good team. They had won back-to-back -back titles. Let's talk about Hunter and Central. Big, physical. They dominated this tournament when it was Hunter and Warren winning 10 of them. They won. And we're going to have the national anthem. We'll finish up with our talk on Hunter and Central right after this.
All right, because it's Tony Elias from Vernon. I want to finish our thoughts on Hunter and Central. Coach Tristan DeFazio in his third year. What a great tradition Hunter and Central has. And we said they dominated two amazing coaches that coached before him. Hall of Famer Brian Glennon at 324 wins. Won this tournament many times. They won it 10 times with his Hunter Warren Sussex. And Mike Falco won 155 games. Uh, they brought him from the college ranks to coach the Red Devils. They last won this tournament in 2020. It was a great game here in overtime right. over Hackettstown. It was a tremendous win for them. I remember watching that game and calling that game. And 55-48 uh, in overtime, Brian Johansson, Matt Joukowsky, great players for Hunter and Central as they're looking to get a championship. They're coming off a loss the other day. They played Phillipsburg in a regular division game uh, in the Skyline Raritan Conference. Hunter and Central 15-8. and eight. They lost to Peaberg. But they're ready to play. Coach DeFazio and his staff has a motto. Let's play 33 minutes, meaning we're going to give that extra effort to that extra minute. And the guys are bought into it. Plus, Vernon went on the road last year and knocked them off in the quarterfinals. They got a little revenge on their mind. How important is that? Well, it's very important. Any, any extra motivation you're going to have this time of the year, whether it's real or fabricated, is going to work for you. And they are certainly battle-tested, as you talked about, and they got some kids that can fill it up between Matthew Schwartz and Weston Shirt. I mean, they're going to come after you. I expect them for full court press a little bit as well. Yes, they will. Um, and mix that up. So Vernon's going to have to be ready for that. You know, they come and play their A game just like Vernon. I think I think they're both going to play uh, clean. I don't think they're going to turn the ball over a ton. I think we're in, in, in for an exciting game tonight, Dan. All right, 100 Central starters. Number three, Cameron Zuzin, junior, eight points a game. Number four, Matt Schwartz. We just talked about him, 16 and a half points a game. He's got 49 threes. Landon Marsh, number five, 10 and a half points a game. He's got 38 threes. And Landy, number 12, 3.6 points per game. And Weston, Weston Shirk, the big guy, 13 and a half points a game. They're in the home dark jerseys as the third seed. Vernon, number five seed. Demir Morf, chest number one, 13.3 points per game. Eight rebounds a game. Dylan Haycoop, 6.6 points a game. He's number two. Uh, Alex Fessel, they go as, as far as Alex brings him as Vernon has it. Alex, 17 points a game, 3.2 rebounds, 3.4 assists, 44 threes. He's got the school record for three-pointers. He's number 11. And Ben Jurowitz had the big putback last week, the big guy. He's a double-double right now. 10 points, 10 rebounds a game, two assists. He had the putback. And Michael Pecoraro has worked his way into the lineup, number 23. Jurowitz is 20. Pecoraro, two and a half points a game, 2.2 rebounds but it gives them a good presence and he's a good athlete. So we're gonna see what's going on here. They're speaking at the scorer's table. So the Red Devils will bring it in. This will be Cameron Deergene. So 100 and Central starting out in straight half court man to man. Vernon's gonna go two, three to start. From the corner of three and it's knocked down right out of the gate. It's Matthew Schwartz. With that smooth left-handed stroke. They're going to start straight man-to-man, -man, which Vernon's okay with. Because they go full court press man-to-man, -man, they feel like they can give the ball to Fessel and get out of the way. Good crowd here at Centner. Demir Morf just gives it up to Haykoop. He goes baseline, swings it over. That'll be a turnover. And the Red Devils will push it up. This is Schwartz. Vernon came off wins over West Milford and Kinlon from the corner again. And knocking that down is Landon Barsh. And Connor Healy's going to call a timeout already. Pretty much a perfect start for Hunter and Central. They created two turnovers and then came down and banged a three on each one. And conversely, that's about as disastrous of a 53 seconds as you can get for Vernon Vikings. Turn the ball over twice, both careless turnovers, and then allowing right corner threes by Hunter and Central. Well, they have 134 of them on the season, does the Red, do the Red Devils. So perimeter defense is going to be a key. Now, they didn't shoot particularly well last week against right. Del Val, but they gutted that win out. And that's what the good teams do. And this is a very good 100 and Central team. As we said, they're coming off the loss to Peaberg. Vernon have picked up wins over West Milford, Connor Healy's alma mater, and Kinelon. So they've been they've won six in a row since they lost to Hackettstown in a regular season game. And here comes that pressure, Coach. Yeah, and again, if it's going to be a straight man-to-man -man pressure, Vernon feels like they can just clear out, give it to Fessel and let him bring the ball up the floor. It's the trapping pressure that gives him a little bit more problems. Fessel will bring it up. And by having Fessel bring it up, that's more work for he has to do. And that'll be a tough thing for him because they want to wear Fessel down. He looks inside, Jurowitz kicks it out. Demir Morf chest, he walked. 
And Vernon's got to take a deep breath here. They got happy feet. They got some nerves that are that are uh, certainly very evident. So they got to take a deep breath and get back to playing what got them to this point. And they lost in the semifinals last year to Hackensound. Off balance jumper, no good. Rebound pulled down by Shirk, the big guy. And we'll have a whistle on the floor. And Dan, that's the other thing we got to watch out for tonight is, you know, possible foul trouble for Vernon. They don't, they don't go very deep. And we've seen this in the past where you know, we've seen Jurowitz, we've seen we've seen Fessel, we've seen Morphe. We've really seen all of them in a little bit of foul trouble. And if they lose some of those guys, they could be in trouble as well. Demir fouled out last week against right. Philsburg. On the drive, no good. Shirk with the board. And did he walk? Hell ball. Good crowd here at Hackestown and Centenary University. We appreciate everyone's hospitality. Big shout out to Bill Foley, the Vernon AD, and Bobby Grasso, the Hackestown AD. They are the ADs that run this boys and girls tournament. We'll have the girls final after this. Top seeded Pope John against number two Voorhees. Behind the arc, no good, short. Good box out by Jurowitz. Heiku gets the board. Excellent box out by Jurowitz. He's gonna have to do that all night long. So Hunter and Central off to the early sixth at the lead, knocking down two threes. Schwartz and Marsh. Demir Morf just puts it on the floor and he drives to the basket. That's what Demir is absolutely at his best. A quick rip through and slashing, finishing right at the rim. That's his game. Vernon will get the ball back. Excellent student section here for Vernon. You got to love it. Two key players from last year's team here in the stands. That's Eli right. Gaskin and Rob Nathan. And I'm sure EJ Mack is going to show up at some That's point. That's right. Joe Ritz up high, go over to Demir. Heiku. Jerowitz waiting. And we're going to have a I whistle. Think, I think we have a clock issue we because do it's have saying 9 01. Yeah, and then every, well, we everything. We were talking about Hiller and Central playing the extra minute. I didn't think they listened to me. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> they put a nine on. They actually went backwards. <laughs> went, well, that's an extra minute. Eight yeah, minute yeah, quarter just exactly. became a nine minute quarter. Yeah. That's taking it literal there, Brian yes, Thomas. Yes, it is. And thanks for joining us here on the Big State Sports Network. Dan Cleary, along with Brian Thomas. Yeah, you can see the, the woman at the scorer's table was literally yes. had her arms waving and screaming at the officials because it was it, 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 somehow, there we go, now we're back. Six to two instead of nine to two. And the right time on the yeah. clock, 543. But a great crowd here in Hackestown tonight. This is a great facility for this. It sure is. It's centrally located. No one can complain about a ride. 100 Central's got to drive about 40 some odd minutes. Vernon came right. about an hour. Yep. That's always great because, you know, a game like this, you don't just get the people that support the particular schools. Correct. You know, you can see people in the stands from all over the place. You got different coaches, you got different players that are here. You know, so it's, it's a really such a great event every single year. Certainly is. All right, we got all the scoreboard issues taken care of, I think. Official score tonight, the Sussex County legend Mike Lipscomb over there. Of course. What's a big game without him, right? I agree. When I walked into the gym, I knew it was a big one. Now I, I believe a lot of these nerves will be out of the way at this point. So now I think both teams, especially Vernon, who looked more nervous, I agree. can kind of settle in a little bit and just, just play basketball. Yeah, Demir turned it over twice, then he attacked the basket. That's yeah. his game. So this is what you want. You want everyone at their best, both squads. Two young coaches, Tristan DeVazio and Connor Healy. Healy, a former West Milford star. DeVazio played at Steiner. And also played football at the College of New Jersey. Excellent rotating defense by Hunter and Central. Fessel looks inside to Juros, kicks it out. Pecorero for three, no good. Rebound pulled down by the Red Devils. They'll bring it up. A little bit of adrenaline on that first shot. He cut inside, but hands by Fessel. What a marvelous season the junior's having. Fessel, short jumper, rolls in. And that's what he can do. We talked about this, Dan, all year long where 
his really best attributes is oftentimes his quick hands, his anticipation, and his vision. And he's showing it off again early in this game. He'll get his 1,000 point early his senior year unless Vernon goes on a magnificent run here in the States. Coming up three, in and out. Jurowitz with the board. Again, another great box out by Jurowitz. It's gonna be vital for Vernon tonight. Last week, Alex Fessel had 23, Jurowitz 12 and 10, and Demir 11 and 11. Jurowitz under, blocked. Good defense there by Landon Marsh. Defense by committee on that one. Jurowitz put it down and 300 and central players swarmed him. They work it over to the corner. Good job of closing out there. Vernon was not gonna allow an open three. Fessel on the turnover. He's gonna take it and lay it in. We're tied. Timeout, Hunter and Central. Exchanging blows early on in this game. Hunter and Central comes out smoking and on fire. Vernon settles down, led by Alex Fessel. Couple steals, couple buckets. Nodded back here at six, Dan. This is what we expected. Uh, we said EJ Mack was gonna show up. There he is. Right on time. He's right next to Gasket and Rob Nathan, guys that played <laughs> for Vernon last year. Big part of why they got to the, won the Colonial Division in the NJAC. Moved up to the Freedom and I tell you, if they played 15 league games, they would have won it. I agree. Because they were, they were playing better than anyone in Jefferson. Yeah. I saw them the other night. They played great against Mount Lakes. Yes. But they beat Jefferson and they beat Hackinson the last few times they played. So Vernon playing their best ball at the right time of the season. And Hunter and Central, they just grind it out. These are just tough, physical kids, which Hunter and Central is in every sport. Right. Four and five in the rugged Skyland, Skyland uh, Raritan Division, which houses Peeburg. Turnaround jumper, can't get the roll, put back, great job, no one picked him up. That's DG. Central retakes the lead, 8-6. You're gonna have a lot of screens here set by Vernon throughout the night, whether it's away from the ball or on the ball. Fessel for three, no good. Rebound pulled down by Schwartz. Schwartz had that half-court shot last yes. week to send him into the fourth quarter with the lead, for extending their lead. Shirk down low against Jerwitz. This should be a good matchup. Big guy Shirk can't get the fall. Rebound, put back, foul. Going to the line, Hayden Landy. Vernon's got to have all five guys rebounding on that particular play. They only had two. The other three guys got to not just stand there and watch. They got to sneak in there and try to help Jerwitz especially. It's got to be rebounding by committee. Second foul on the Vikings. And the first free throw rattles in and out. Hey, our opening tip, Brian Thomas, is brought to you by our friends at Open Road Mazda. They have great cars under $15,000 and a five-day money-back guarantee. Check them out, Open Road Mazda. Vernon's got a boisterous crowd. They got on a bus and drove here. Looking for their first county title That's since 07, awesome. back in the old SCIL days. He hits the second. 9-6 our score, 3.25 to go here in the opening period. HWS Championship game. Fessel pulls up, short. Jurowitz with the bound, looking for somebody, gets it to Heiku. Fessel weaves his way through, up and under, can't get the go. Jurowitz gets the board, swings it back out to Pecorero. Vernon needs a reset here. Heiku sees a lane, challenged. Good defense by Shirk. Jurowitz throws the foul. Excellent job by Ben Jurowitz getting two offensive rebounds on the same possession, keeping the possession alive, and ended up on the line for two. It's the same thing we just talked about, Dan, with Vern on the other side. You got to rebound by committee. You got to have five guys that find a body and then attack that basketball. You can't just rely on one or two guys. Jurowitz, a four year member of this varsity team, school's all time leading rebounder. Not going to play college ball. Right. He knows this is it tonight and then states, and he wants to play as long as possible. And he has been huge for them. Every time that they win, the, win a game, Dan, he has a monster game, and it doesn't have to show up in the stat line, but he does all the dirty work and everything for this Vernon team. Shirk so powerful, up strong, a little too strong. Pecorero with the rebound. It's a great matchup down low. That's fun to watch. Hey, off the screen. 
Swings it over. Fessel left alone. Can't make him pay. Rebound pulled down by Landon Marsh. 2.35 to go, opening period. Little shake here. Deirdre with the nice. attack. Can't get it to go. Put back, no good, a foul. Next foul will be on Jurowitz. Third team foul on the Vikings. I believe that's two on Ben. They're not putting him up on the scoreboard. Yeah, they are not, unfortunately. And Shirk will hit the first free throw. But the one thing we learned last week from Coach Healy in a big game like this, like if this was a regular season game in December, Jerry Woods would be on the bench. Oh, no doubt. But what we saw last week, I mean, Ben picked up his fourth foul at the beginning of the fourth quarter, and he kept him in the game the rest of the way, trusted his senior, and he did not pick up that fifth. Rebound so, by Demir. He's not taking anybody out no. until he absolutely has to. 10-7 our score. It's Eugene on Fessel. That's a good matchup. Demir back out to Jurowitz. Fessel looking inside on the roll. Stolen great hands there by Matt Schwartz. Schwartz having a marvelous season. Almost 17 points a game, 49 threes. They got to keep an eye on him on the perimeter. You think about great players over the years from Hunter and Central. The great Tucker Richardson, who helped them win the 2017 Hunter Warren Sussex Tournament. Went on to have a great career at Colgate. Played at Blair for a year. That team was Tucker Richardson, Sam Johnson, and Chad Dreswick for Coach Falco. A great player. I remember Evan Klimchek, too, back a little bit earlier before that. There's a great basketball tradition at Central. Deirdre pulls up the dribble, bounces to the side. Reset, 125 to go. Nice patience here by Hunter and Central. They know they're not in a rush. They're going to be disciplined and get the shot that they want. Shirt from way outside. No good. Jurowitz with the rebound. He'll get it to Fessel. Anytime Fessel gives the ball up, look for him to get a screen back. Yes, indeed. Which happens on almost every single possession. Even though he's missed a few threes tonight, he's not going to stop. No. It's he, only a matter he, of time before he catches fire. He can't stop if everyone wants to win. Right. Hey, Coop. Slowly, surely getting better every game, yes. the youngster. Had a huge game against Phillipsburg. With the take and the foul. Nice attack to the basket by Fessel. And that's what I like about his game. It's evolved to the point where he's not just a shooter whether it's mid-range or threes. As you can see already in this first quarter, he's not afraid to attack the basket and then eventually get to the free throw line as well. Landy picks up the foul for the Red Devils. They're second. Fessel will shoot two. Missed the first. And a substitution for 100 central number 33, Alec Greenbaum will come in. First substitution, I believe, Dan, yes. for either team. Yep. Under a minute in the first quarter, and that just goes to show you that these coaches are going to ride with their best, their top five almost throughout. 100 Central's got a tight rotation, a little bit bigger than Vernon's, but they go tight as well. Yeah. Fessel one to two. So foul trouble is something we got to watch for both teams. So 35 seconds to go in the first period. Third seeded Central with a 10 8 lead over number five Vernon. Thanks for joining us on the Big State Sports Network, Dan Cleary. Hello, with Brian Thomas. Shirk, good look inside, sneaking in and getting the basket is Greenbaum with 20 seconds to go. You're in that 2-3 zone, that back line. He's got to make sure nobody sneaks behind you, as we just saw. This is going to be guy running that baseline. Yep. A little screen or roll possibly here. Fessel keeps it. Looks at time. Great look. Can't finish. Four seconds to go. Haykoop's going to have to put it up. But it will give the Fessel a touch. Good if it goes. And it's good. Fessel with a huge basket at the buzzer. Is it a two or three? Let's see what they put up. Should be a two, and it is. Wow. Let's take a look at that, Brian Thomas. And created by Alex Fessel on defense. He had a great pass. Haykoop happened to miss a layup, but Alex didn't give up on it. Once again, getting his hands in the passing lanes. Haykoop makes up for that previous mistake over to Fessel quickly. Barely had time to catch and shoot and knocks it down at the buzzer. All right, we're going to step aside. We'll be back with second quarter action here at the HWX Championship game, live on the Big State Sports Network. This thing's outdated and wasting energy. 
At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. Welcome back to Central University here in Hackensack HWS Championship game on the Big State Sports Network. Dan Clear along with Brian Thomas. 12-10, number three, Hunter and Central with the lead over number five, Vernon. Alex Fessler with a buzzer beater to make it 12-10. They work it inside the Juro. It goes up strong. He draws the foul. Hey, we want to thank Burke's Furniture and Mattress, the NJC Dragons, Open Road, uh, Open Road Mazda of Morristown, Blue Nail Exteriors, and the Wolf Gym for sponsoring tonight's game. So Jurowitz will go back to the line. And it was on Shirk. Brian, how big was that shot towards the end? Oh, it was outstanding because even more important for Vernon is Hunter and Central looked like they may have had a layup down the other way. So instead of it being, you know, 14 to 8, it ends up being 12 to 10. And in a game like this, every single possession matters. And Vernon really took advantage of that one. And again, to start here the, the second quarter to tie it up. Knocks down both. This is the big man, Jurowitz. This is Diogene. Good hands by Fessel. Keeps the handle. Still has it. Gets rid of it, Pecorero. Smartly gets it back to Fessel. Pecorero left alone in the corner. Can't get it to go. Jurowitz with the board. Back to Fessel. Catch and shoot three. In and out. Shirk goes high for the board. In and out is right. That thing was halfway down. Another good offensive possession by Vernon. And Alex Fessel again. He's all over the floor. Fourth time getting his hands on that basketball. Pecorero stripped. Went off his leg. We're going to go the other way. That's that is, the right call. That is the correct call. Fessel with eight points to lead everybody. And four steals and a couple assists. Not a bad start. Nope. But everything we expect out of him. Talking to Coach Stefazzi before the game, he said number 11 is an outstanding player. He's not lying. But he was very happy with his guy, Matt Schwartz, number four. He's terrific yeah, as well. no doubt. Two very good guards going at it. Fessel again with the reverse. Can't finish. Rebound pulled down by Grinbaum. Here comes Deergin. He's going to see a lane. He's going to take it. Can't get it to go. Jerwitz battling for the board. And that's on Ben. That's three. Doesn't look that way. It'll be on Pecorero. Right. So each team with two fouls here in the second quarter. They always got to watch the inbounder coming back in for a screen, possible three. And certainly Shirk just ducking in right away. Again, Marsh has 38 of them. Schwartz has 49 of them. Got to watch that corner. They get it to the corner, work it out. Cole Swear back, rebound. Tries to go baseline, good defense by the Vikings. And there's... A foul on Jurowitz, and uh, he's got to sit. He's got three. Yeah, and that's just one of those where he's just diving after the basketball, and he happened to dive into the 100 essential player's leg, so that's an obvious call right there. So now it's going to be interesting because they get much, much smaller, so they're going to have to, these other guys are really going to have to step up on the offensive glass. This is a big blow for Vernon. Yeah, bring in Aiden Kowalski, number three, who's got 34 three-pointers on the season. A very good athlete, quarterback of the football team. So we'll give him another perimeter threat, but right there, that's where it hurts. Put back for Schwartz. Yeah, I think that's their first put back so far. No coincidence right when Jurowitz has to sit down. So we might see a little bit more perimeter shooting here with Kowalski in there. He's not afraid to shoot. Yeah, you might see a little more high pick and rolls with Demir Morf chest yep. as well. And look at Demir looking to roll to the basket and Fessel trying to find him. 
Here comes those off-ball screens for Fessel again. Back out, Haycoop. D. Eugene has been covering Fessel. Demir gets tied up. Good hands there by Korowski. Picks up his dribble. Back out to Fessel. Fessel, pull-up jumper. Can't get the go. Rebound pulled down by Shirk. This is a dangerous time if you're a Vernon fan. With Bert Jurowitz on the bench, you got to stick around in this game, and Fessel's doing it all. Steal number five, Dan. And the foul, and it does not go. Wow. And that's going to be another foul on Shirk. I believe that's two on him. Fessel has had two of them that seemed like they were going down and then just popped right out. Fessel will go to the line. We'll see if fatigue becomes a factor in this second half. I mean, you got guys already, just because the adrenaline, the adrenaline of this game is so high to start, you know, sure. come down the stretch, Dan. I mean, these guys are already huffing and puffing a little bit. They're going to rely on their conditioning and adrenaline to, to keep them rolling. Shirk will sit with the fouls. Landy will check back in number 12. Yeah, that's a big blow now for Hunter and Central. They thought they could maybe have Shirk in the game with Jurowitz out. He picks up that second. He's got to sit as well. We're tied at 14. Fessel's got 10 points. Zirjean, Schwartz up top, Vernon in that zone. After those first two possessions, Vernon's done a much better job of closing out on those shooters. Terrific take by Schwartz. That's exactly what a, a great basketball player should do. If they're shutting down that three-point line, attack the basket hard, especially with Jurowitz out of the game. High screen and roll. Pecorero asking for the screen on Diogene. Good defense by Central. That should leave someone open under the basket. Hey, Coop was. Yes, he was. Demir with the drive. Can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down by the Red Devils. Pushing in Schwartz. And Fessel breaks it up. Vernon fans looking for a walk. And we got a timeout. Great timeout called by Hunter and Central. Coach Tristan DeFazio. Excellent timeout. That was nothing but chaos on that possession. The ball could have landed anywhere. I think um, 100 Central fans wanted a foul, and then Vernon fans wanted to travel. Right. So there's a little bit of everything happening. I want a million dollars. Hey, I mean, look. <laughs> we all want something, it's Brian exactly Thomas. exactly right. I want to be Dan Cleary. I mean, you know, we can go I on and on I here. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. This has been a great atmosphere so far. Absolutely. Holy smokes. Hey, folks, don't go anywhere after this game because we'll have the girls' final. That went chalk, top seed to Pope John after losing two heartbreakers the last two years to Sparta on this floor. Looking for their first. And Voorhees with that great team play by head coach Mitch Collins looking to get their first title in a few years. In 2016, they last won it. So the girls' game would be great. And if you want to find out who our player of the game is, you got to go to Big State Sports Social Media as Climate Care has been a great sponsor of that all season long, both fall and winter. So, Dan, I think there's virtually no chance we're going to see Jurowitz again here in the second quarter. He can't. Too but, much time. Yeah, but that also allows Shirk to stay on the bench as well. Right. So he doesn't pick up a third. So that's actually a luxury here for Hunter and Central that they could try to save him from getting that, that quick third one as well. DJ swings it over. Rebound, give inside, powering up, can't get the go, second chance, blocked. Great work by Landy under the boards. Back out, Schwartz, catch and shoot, can't get the go, looks for a foul, and Demir skies for the board. Vernon on the run out, and Schwartz is there. He breaks it up. You gotta love the activity by Hunter and Central on the offensive glass. The more opportunities that they get, Certainly some of those are going to start to drop. Demir Morph Chess, what a great year. He was a role player last year. Right. Has stepped into his starting role and done a great job. Haykoop, good defense by Schwartz. This 100 second team is long and physical. Yeah, and they communicate really well defensively. Their help side is excellent. Those are, those are signs of a well-coached team. And they play in a killer division. Yeah. Obviously, when you got to play Peaberg twice, Boundbrook twice. Gives it up. Fessel 
off. Good box out by Hayden Landy, and they'll get the ball back. An outstanding defensive possession there by Central. Let's see if they can capitalize. Dierjean, Vernon still in that zone, trying to break it with a long three, and knocking it down is Marsh. That's his second of the game, the, the second possession, and now again with three minutes left here in the second quarter. Up five, 19-14. Vernon's gonna have to find a way to get some additional scoring from someone other than Alex Fessel. He's an excellent player, but he can't do it all by himself. Demir gives it up to Alex. Again, Korowski can shoot. Yeah, for sure. Doubled up, he's in trouble. Connor Hill is looking for a timeout, it'll be a turnover. Schwartz will get it. Good defense by the Red Devils. Dierjean, oh, beautiful move to the hoop and blocked by Demir. But we'll stay here, Hunter and Central. We'll keep it. What a great crossover Ooh. and then a Euro. My, oh my. I faked out of my sneakers That's and right. I'm sitting here. <laughs> and they're laced up. Exactly. Vernon got saved on that possession by Morph Chesk rotating over, using his length to block that shot. You think Fessel might have been faking this so he'd get a little break right now? <laughs> yeah, man, he's, he's a crafty player. Yes, he is. His travel coach knows a little thing yep, about basketball. Yep. I don't know who that gentleman is. No, nah, I'm not sure either. <laughs> we're, we're better off. <laughs> I heard he's having a shooting day clinic on Monday. I heard the same. I like how they're breaking the zone down. They're yeah. going into the post. If it's nothing there, they kick it out. They're using that high post. Again, Greenbaum twice yeah. has done that. Foul on the floor. Greenbaum's been coming to the corner, driving and dishing, breaking down that zone. He's been real aggressive. Without a doubt, and that's the same thing that Schwartz did a few possessions back, is drive that, that baseline on the right-hand side, and he finished the layup. But that's what happens when you have your 6-5 center out of the game. Things tend to be a little easier inside. Connor Healy upset. He's got to keep his composure. Great job by Steve Myron and Cody Hilbert's assistants to calm him down. Third foul on the Vikings. Two on Hunter and Central. Central with the five point lead and the ball. Nice bounce inside. Kick it out. Rebound from the corner. Line drive, no good. Pecorero with the board. Fessel will bring it up. Fessel with 10. Vernon needs a bucket here. Only down five, but in a, in a game like this, I mean, Absolutely. every lead feels bigger. Fessel shakes his defender, can't get the fall. And. Looks like that's going to be Vernon Ball. Yes, good hustle by Pecorero. And this is what Central does. They play physical. They, they wear you down. They wear you down. They're terrific. Watch out for Fessel coming back in either corner here. I, You know, Kowarski, if he wants to contribute, this would be a great chance out in the corner. He's a great three-point shooter. Central playing great defense. Though. They really are. Last three or four possessions, they've really locked down. Fessel, bounce to Demir. Little slash in the basket, gives it up to Haykoop. Kowalski gives it back to Fessel. Fessel gets his guy in the air and he banks it in. And Alex is not, I mean, he's still pretty thin, but he's wiry strong. He certainly is. And you can see it on that possession, utilizing his body to create a little bit of space and a nice little floater right off the board. Central's done a great job breaking down this zone. They have. Got to watch that high post for that high low, and as you mentioned, that dribble penetration, yep. especially baseline side. And it might come again with Greenbaum. He's not afraid to put it on the floor. Good pass inside. Dierjean behind the back, trapped under. Interior passing, fantastic. Dierjean with the basket. You nailed it. The interior passing, all three of those passes right there were pinpoint on the money. Five-point lead. 25 seconds to go. Demir Morf Chess swings it over. Alex Fessel resets his feet. Can't get it to fall. Great rebound by Schwartz. 10 seconds to go. 
21-16. Four seconds. Dierji, pull up. Can't get the go to buzzer with sound. So the first half in the books here in the 2024 Hunter Warren Sussex Boys Championship game. Our score, the third seeded Hunter Central Blue Devils, 21. The fifth seeded Vernon Vikings, 16. We'll have halftime and we'll have more here on the Big State Sports Network right after this. Hi, I'm Dan from George A. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Sean from Sean Malloy Fitness. Here's a little video to show you what we do here. James Ultimo, your trusted licensed real estate professional at Exit Realty Connections in Hackettstown, New Jersey. With over 36 years of customer service excellence, James is the smart choice whether you're buying or selling. Your dream property journey starts with James Ultimo. Contact me today to turn your real estate dreams into reality. James Ultimo, 973-214-6448. Hi, my name is Edward Capozzi and I'm a personal injury lawyer. In fact, I am the chair of the Brock Eichler Personal Injury Department in Roseland, New Jersey. And we are happy to support KJS United's hockey team. Uh, I am a hockey parent like most of you are. And uh, if you're ever involved in an accident, that be a auto accident, a trucking accident, a slip and fall, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'd be happy to give you a free consultation. You could also look us up at njlawresults.com at Planet Networks. Our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at Max MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. With the Planet Fitness Black Card, you don't just get a great workout, you get a great perk out because your membership is packed with perks. Join for just $1 down and $24.99 a month. Offer available at Planet Fitness in Hackettstown, located off of Route 57 next to ShopRite. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing Wes offers is freedom the freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are.
For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more, for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. Are you craving a delicious meal in a vibrant and lively atmosphere? Lakeside Sports Bar and Grill brings you the perfect blend of mouthwatering Tex-Mex cuisine, like juicy burgers, loaded nachos, and sizzling steaks, with an extensive selection of drinks. Join us for karaoke night, Latin night, and more. It's the ultimate dining and entertainment experience. Stuber Insurance Agency, we work diligently to make sure you get the right insurance for you, your family, and your employees. Within our carefully selected group of financially sound insurance companies, our goal is to find you the best coverage at the most competitive prices. Visit us online to request a quote or make an appointment at 115 Mill Street in Hackettstown. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative, I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. With the Planet Fitness Black Card, you don't just get a great workout, you get a great perk out because your membership is packed with perks. Join for just $1 down and $24.99 a month. Offer available at Planet Fitness in Hackettstown, located off of Route 57 next to ShopRite. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. And welcome back to Centenary University here in Hackensack, New Jersey, as Big State Sports presents the Hunter Warren Sussex Boys Basketball Championship game, as it's the third seed at Hunter Central Red Devils with a 21-16 lead over the number five seed Vernon Vikings. 
Good Friday afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Big Sports uh, State Square. Excuse me, Big State Sports Network. Dan Cleary, along with Brian Thomas. Hey, we want to thank our sponsors before we get into our analysis here. Burke's Furniture and Mattress, located in Hackettstown. They have an unprecedented President's Day sale. Check them out. The NJC Dragons with their new facility in Mount Olive. Open Road Mazda of Morristown. They have a great selection of used, dependable cars for under 15000 they got the five-day back money guarantee. It's over road Mazda of Morristown. Blue Nail Exteriors. Choose dollars, choose trust, choose Blue Nail Exteriors for your home. And the Wolf Gym. Come join the Wolf Pack. And they have something for everybody. Whether you're a bodybuilder, powerlifter, athlete, or just looking to get back into shape, check them out. Everyone's accepted into the Wolf Pack, located on Route 46 in Bud Lake. So I'm bringing my partner, Brian Thomas. Brian, your thoughts on what we saw in that first half. Foul trouble part of the story, but this is a, a hard-nosed game similar to what Central played last week against Del Val. Yeah, without a doubt. I think, I mean, both teams are competing like crazy. You can see how badly the kids want to win this game. The coaching staff wants to win this game. And Vernon got off to a choppy start. Hunter and Central came out and, and, and really punched them right in the mouth. And Vernon settled down and relaxed and came out and played their game. You're right, foul trouble, a, a big story so far in this one, and will continue to be going forward, so we'll keep an eye on that. Ben Jurowitz with three for Vernon, and starting it right off, DRG with the three. Just how they started the game. 24-16, eight-point lead, largest of the evening for the Red Devils. They're gonna win their first title since 2020. And they beat Hackerson on the floor. Jurowitz playing with three fouls. Alex Fessel with 11 to lead the Vikings. Fessel with two fouls. So foul trouble, an issue for the Vikings. They send it back out. Haycoop back to Demir Morf Chess. And Brian, where does Ver Vernon needs to get some more scoring besides number 11? Where is that going to come from? Well, it's definitely going to have to come from Ben Jurowitz since he's back on the floor. I'd like to see Demir looking to attack that basket and those three-point shooters that they have. Um, with Pecoraro and Haycoop are going to have to fill it up as well, but they're going to have to get some extra scoring, and I think the first three or four minutes of this quarter is going to be huge. If Vernon goes down double digits, it's going to be trouble. Pecoraro takes the three. He's taken three threes. He hasn't made them, but they're all good shots. Yes, without a doubt, and they need that. Yes, he's got to be he's got to be confident and keep yeah. shooting. He's had a good stretch of about three weeks of basketball, so he can do it. He's got to let it fly. This is what Central does, though, Brian. They sneakily tack on right. and tack on and play solid fundamental basketball. They're not gonna wow you with flashy stuff, but they're just gonna keep playing hard and playing well. They're gonna wear you down yes, every indeed. single possession. It's gonna be something a little bit different. These guys, as we said, their motto, play 33 minutes, that extra minute. Diergene has come out, blocked. Shirk gets to it, Shirk's playing with two fouls, the big man for Central. Fessel with the bounce, give to Jurowitz, lays it in, and he's fouled. That's what, they, that's what they missed there in that second quarter with Jurowitz being on the bench, is that big presence that can attack the basket down low and get to the free throw line. And that's, if you're Ben Jurowitz, that's how you got to attack this third quarter. You missed a good portion of that second. You got to come and be aggressive. Max Schwartz picks up the foul, number four. Jurowitz completes the three-point play. Back to a five-point game, 24-19. Inside. Again, we've said it all first half. They break down the zone very well. Coming to that post, great look inside. Blocked by Pecorero. Staying with it. Another block by the Vikings. Vessel swings it over. Haycoop back to Demir. Jurowitz posted up. Up and awkward shot and it goes. Tough shot. Nice patience by Jurowitz. A couple of shot fakes. Central didn't bite. He put it up anyway, knocked it down. Well, your analysis again, Brian Thomas, spot on. <laughs> they need scoring. They've gotten five from Jurowitz here in the third quarter. Yeah, they're going to continue to need that. So he's going to have to be smart here on this defensive end and not pick up that fourth. Good closeout. Central. Working for a good shot as they always a good cut to the basket. Nicely done, Landon Marsh. And that's what's going to continue to be open is that high post against the 2-3 zone. 
Here comes a trapping press. Demir swings it over a little too strong. Haykoop, good save. Good read by Schwartz. He saw that the whole way. He goes up and gets it in. Nice job by Schwartz getting in the passing lanes and finishing with more chest bearing down upon him. Terrific play by Schwartz. Back up to a seven point lead. Seems like every time Vernon responds, Central comes right back at him. Jurowitz down low, gets it the fall. Big Ben. Big Ben with the perfect footwork. Taking his time down there, using his body and his length. He's got seven in his quarter. Schwartz looks to answer. Rebound pulled down by Pecoraro. Boy, that takes the pressure off Fessel oh if he's able gosh. to do that. Sure does. Short jumper. Hey, Coop, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down. That's a good shot, though. It certainly is. You got Pecoraro, Haykoop, Jurowitz, all with shots here in this third quarter. Jurowitz with eight for the game. We'll stay here around the substitution. Rebound will come in, and Kowalski will come in for the Vikings. Kowalski, Pecoraro will go to the bench. The rare substitution on both sides today. On the inbounds. Great job by getting to that Landon Marsh. Diergene started the quarter with a three. They work it around, this is what they do, shoot threes and they knock it down. Marsh. Excellent ball movement. Now leading right into this trapping press once again. He's got nine. Three threes. Three threes. Fessel. Kicks it out, Korowski can shoot those, and he knocks it down. That's a huge response there by Vernon. It felt like, didn't it, Dan, that Central's about to take control of this basketball game. So that stems the tide, at least momentarily, there for Vernon. Can we take a look at that again, Mr. Uh, Paul Arvery, our great producer here in Hackenstown at Central University? Take us through this here, Brian Thomas. Yeah, here's the three first by Hackestown. And they come with that trap, but Vernon does a nice job of being patient and breaking it. And then they come all the way back down and hit that corner three. As the Marsh has now 41 threes on the season, wow. 400 in Central. Hey, quickly, folks, we want to thank all of our sponsors. Burke's Furniture and Mattress, they have a great President's Day sale. Located on Mountain Avenue, right down the road here in Hackenstown, 908 269 8725. The New Jersey Sea Dragons have got that beautiful facility coming your way in Mount Olive, Open Road, Mazda, Morristown, Blue Nail Exteriors. Choose knowledge, choose trust, choose Blue Nail Exteriors. And the Wolf Gym, Wolf Gym in Bud Lake, Group 46. We have something for everybody. Come join the Wolf Pack. 3.13 to go here in the third quarter. Championship game. First of a doubleheader of the girls final. Top seeded Pope John, number two Voorhees. And it certainly feels like a championship game, doesn't it? Every possession is just magnified. Fessel again. Fessel's playing like a champ. With the little shimmy. Beautiful. Gets it to go. Once again, it's like a broken record. Gets his hands in the passing lanes. Gets another steal, his sixth or seventh of the game, and then comes all the way down and finishes. He's got 13 points. So Vernon's gone on a mini run. Extending that zone with Fessel up top. Three-point game, 225 to go here in the third. DG over to Schwartz. In the corner, Greenbaum. Has been terrific off the bench tonight. Picks up his dribble, back out to Schwartz. Schwartz tries to go beyond his back, picks up his dribble, good look inside to Shirk. Back to Schwartz, and he's going to be fouled on the floor. Now beyond Fessel. 
That's three. So him and Jurowitz playing with three. Keep an eye on that, Brian Thomas. Yeah, that's obviously huge if either one of those picks up the fourth foul. So I would imagine Hunter and Central not only knows that, but will look to try to get them one or both on the bench. And those are guys in foul trouble playing a zone. Yeah. It shows how good Hunter and Central has been picking at it. Little baseline jumper. No good, rebound. Vikings, chance to tie with a three or cut it to one. Denier Morph Chess, rebound on him. Haycoop. Kowarski's got the confidence right now in the corner. Will he unload another one? Fessel comes back for the bull. Deirge and Fessel for three. We're tied. Dan, we talked about this at halftime that Alex was about one for seven from three in that first half. They were all good shots, and we said he's going to start hitting them soon. And there's one right there. Deirge with a nice move, breaking down the zone with an answer. Strong, tough move right there, attacking the big fella. Fessel does not look fatigued at all. No. But if Vernon wants to keep around in this game, they need someone besides him. Left alone again. Gets open, knocks down another one. You know what, he's not a bad option either. <laughs> Vernon takes the lead, 34-33. Steal by Jurowitz. And a foul on the floor with 33 seconds to go. What a sequence by the Vikings. Yes. And it was sparked by Korowski's three. It was. They have locked down defensively. They've got their hands on basketballs in the passing lane, defensive rebounds, and a couple threes from Alex Fessel doesn't hurt either. They were down eight. Now they have a one point lead with the ball and 29 seconds to go in the quarter. Theogene on Fessel. Look for a high pick and roll from Jurowitz. Here, Here it comes. He comes. He's got to make sure he's not moving. They switch to Demir. I think they want to keep Ben out yes. for foul trouble. They don't want to get that silly foul on an illegal screen. Fessel with the move, dumps it off to Jurowitz. Back to Fessel for three. Knocks it down. Alex Fessel's on fire. And the buzzer sounds. What a flurry to the end of that third quarter. Alex Fessel, let's take a look at that. And there was that high pick and roll that didn't really amount to all that much. And Alex refused it, came back with his left hand, got it over to Jurwitz, but then relocated like Steph Curry would do. And then gets that ball in the corner. Three threes in a row for Alex Fessel. The four-point lead going into the fourth quarter. And he has 22. We'll take a break. We'll be back with that fourth quarter here live on the Big State Sports Network. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five day money back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda. And we're back live here at Hackestown at Centenary University, championship game of the HWF. And the fifth seeded Vikings, what a finish to the third quarter. Alex Fessel has put the Vikings on his back. Three threes, he's got 22. Vernon was down eight, they're up four. We got eight minutes to go. Dan Cleary along with Brian Thomas. Brian, try to put into words that last two minutes. Well, I mean, it's hard to because really it was it was started by everyone else on Vernon. Jurowitz had an incredible first part of that third quarter and they really allowed Fessel to kind of get his legs back. And then it was time for the Alex Fessel show. Defensively, offensively, three in a row. And make it four. And Mike's no, make it four. <laughs> Holy smokes. He is engulfed in flames, Dan. Call the Hackensound Fire Department, folks. Jeez. Wow. And they switched defenders. Yes, they did. Eugene is not in there. 
And a timeout called by Hunter and Central. Coach DeFazio wants to calm down his club. He calls for the full timeout. Yeah, that's an excellent timeout call right there. You know, you say it's only 36 seconds into the quarter, but I mean, my gosh, especially with Fessel hitting another three, we got to talk about this, and this is a game that can get out of control quick if we don't call that timeout. So let's just relax. Let's get back to what we do. We got to find shooters, obviously. We got to run him off the line, but then make sure he doesn't just blow right by because then he's so dangerous getting into the paint and dropping it off to more of Chess or to Jurowitz. So great call there by Central. As to what Connor Healy did at the beginning of the game. Yes. Down 6 nothing. bang, called yeah. that time out. Wow, again, I want to thank all our sponsors here on Big State Sports. Burke's Furniture and Mattress right down the road in Hackettstown. New Jersey Sea Dragons open up that beautiful facility in Mount Olive. We teach, we train, we compete. They're the NJC Dragons. Open Road, Mazda Morristown, Blue Nail Exteriors, and Wolf Jim right down the road in Bud Lake. They have something for everybody there. It's not much. If you're 100 Central, they are defending him. Yeah. He's just on fire. Yeah, they, they lost him a couple times in that third quarter, but that last shot looked there to hand in his face, and he just knocked it down. But Central's got to get back to doing what they do. And I, I have no doubt that they're going to call back into this. I, it feels like it's going down to the wire. They can shoot threes as well as anyone. Yeah. Ethan Diagene has checked in number two. The senior. Shirk swings it over. Vernon's fans into it now. Hillary Central needs an answer. Are they going to get it? Great job by Shirk using that strength. And that's four on Jurowitz. Looks like they're saying he snuck a hand in there as he was trying to get after the basketball. He's going to keep him in there like no he did last doubt. week, right? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, four on the big man. And two of them are hustle fouls. But Ben's got to be super smart here. Looking for an answer. Heiko got a piece of that, I think. I think he did. Great defense by the sophomore. Because we saw at the beginning of that third quarter what a big difference Ben makes when he's on the floor. So he's got to be smart, remain out here. Schwartz picking up Fessel now. Jurowitz backing in, picks up his dribble, gets it up to Fessel. Up and under, Fessel! 27 for him! And doing a little bit of everything with the beautiful up and under finish with the layup. Defense, passing, shooting. He has a heck of a travel coach. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pretty good player. Can Central battle back? You know they're mentally tough. They will come at you. They will make a run before this is said and done. Diagene swings it over. Tries to go baseline. And that's five on Jurowitz, if that's him. And it is. Jurowitz is done with 5.58 left. All right, if you're Vernon, bottom line is, as you mentioned earlier in the, in the second quarter, they're a little smaller, they're a little quicker. They're going to have to find bodies and rebound and box out. That is for sure as Shirk looks to duck in right away. The opening has been given to oh Hunter my gosh. Central right sure now. Sure has. Can Vernon hang on? Because I believe that's what they're going to have to do. I think they did against Jefferson. They did against Hackerstown. Yeah. They did against Fieber. Yes. That's a lot to ask for. Eugene. What Vernon's got to do is what they're doing right now is make sure they guard that three-point line. This is a great possession here for Vernon, trying to get him to work some clock. Schwartz can't get the go. Rebound, Pecorero is in now. Make now. Sure get the ball to number 11, folks, That's if you're right. Vernon. Demir Morf chest with the take and the foul. It's a charge. Yep, no doubt about that. Great job by Schwartz stepping in, sacrificing his body. It's a big play for Central. And you're absolutely right. Get that ball to Alex. And you know what? Let's take our time here. Let's Absolutely. relax. Absolutely. We're in no rush. Nine point lead for the Vikings. And this zone's going to slow down Hunter and Central, obviously. Yeah, that's, the, that's certainly the idea here. But one of these guys could get hot behind the arc, and they're right back in it. 
But they're doing the right thing, Vernon, stepping up above that three-point line. Because that's the one shot, obviously, right now that will hurt them the most. There you go. Here comes that three. In and out. Tipped up by Shirk. Wow. And it goes in with the left hand. A much needed hoop for the Blue Devils. This is the Red Devils. 42-35. And a timeout call by Connor Healy with 4.36 to go and a seven-point lead. Let's, let's look in that huddle. Yeah, I think that's a great timeout call by Coach Healy. What you have here, very simple, especially with, with Central just scoring and cutting it down to seven and Jurowitz out of the game. Connor Healy is now going to reload their game plan a little bit and try to figure out, okay, look, this is what we're going to do. Yeah, Ben's out of the game. However, we got to slow the game down a little bit. We're still trying to score. And then, of course, conversely on the Central side, they're like, look, this is, as you said, Dan Cleary, right there. this is our door that's open. The window is open of opportunity. But we got to make sure we're getting great shots. We got to find shooters on the opposite side. So it's just been a terrific final here at Center University. We want to thank everyone here for their hospitality. I want to thank Bill Foley, the Vernon AD, Bobby Grasso, the Hackerstown AD. They run this tournament. They do a great job. We appreciate they do. The great Mike Andrewson doing the public address announcing here. No one better. This is a perfect atmosphere for a ball game, folks. All right, Vernon will come out of the timeout with the ball, seven point lead, and their big man on the bench. So let's see how their offense changes a little bit, if at all. I would imagine their goal is to be composed, make sure they're getting great shots. Each team with two timeouts left. And Central coming out in a 1-3-1, one, so they're switching it up for the this first is, time today. I think this might be the Vernon's advantage. They could take a little time, but they're able to get rid of it. And they should get open shots down low. They're going to try to trap out of it. Korowski. I think they're trying to just get that pace a little more up-tempo. Yes, indeed. Create some turnovers. A nice job by Vernon. Fessel and Haykoop got a good handle. Swing it over. I'm they, sure Healy told him layups from, and free throws from here on out, possibly. I know they, there's a ton of time left. Yeah, they got to make sure they're staying away from the half-court line and the sideline so they don't get trapped hard. Here comes the trap. Fest, skip pass over to Pecorero. Back to Demir. Demir tipped will stay here. Excellent possession so far by Vernon, taking their time. Yes, indeed. The, the passing angles are good. The strength on their passing is perfect. They got to be careful with those skip passes because that's going to lead to a run out and a wide open layup. On the inbounds, they get it to Haku. Vern looking for their first championship since 07. They lost in the 011 title game in overtime to North Hunterdon. That was down at a pack on. Five count. Good D by Hunter and Central. The Central got what they wanted. I mean, Vernon was able to take about a minute off the clock, so not ideal for Central, but they got a turnover and without a shot. Schwartz gets it into Diogene. Central, battle tested. They will not shrink from this. Inside, Greenbaum, blocked by Demir. Kick back out, another three, yes! A big three by Landon Marsh. Huge response from Central, and now here comes that full court pressure once again. And Demir, as he gets a timeout, Healy will get it, you know, one left. And that was a great, great timeout. Yeah. Because that was going to be a turnover. It was. And it was all their turnover. And again, we talked about 100 Central could shoot threes and hitting another three and a big one, his fourth. Landon Marsh. Yeah, certainly feels like the biggest one of the game for them, cutting that seven point lead down to four, which allows them to get into that full court pressure. And they almost caused, there was two times on that last possession that Vernon almost turned it over. So once Vernon gets that ball over the half court, if they don't have anything, they gotta bring it back out. They gotta find Fessel and let him go from there. But you're central, you're, I mean, look, considering what happened at the end of this third quarter into the fourth, you feel like you're in a pretty good spot, only being down four. Absolutely, because Fessel was on fire. Yeah. They got it up to nine. 
but we knew that Hunter and Central was coming back. That, Without that, a doubt. There's no secret there. They are too athletic, too talented, too well coached not to make the run. But they're going to need to do it on D here. And we're going to have to keep an eye on the uh, on the boards on both sides with Jerwoods being out. We've seen how important in big games rebounding can be. Yes, indeed. Ben with the put back when they upset Fulsburg last week. They'll get it into Demir. He's going to take it late in. That is a beautifully designed play from Coach Healy and executed perfectly by the Vernon Vikings. 44-38 out of the timeout. Demir Moore chest with the lay in. Again, taking their time. They got to keep an eye on five if you're Vernon. Oh, you sure do. He's got the hot hand. Deergene weaves his way through. Turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound pulled down by Fessel. Fessel with 27. Demir's fourth chest up and under, can't get the go. 2.18 to go. Deergene picks up his dribble, gives it out to Greenbaum. Back to Deergene, inside the shirt, inside out, three. In and out, tipped up. Stay here with the Red Devils. Offensive Shirk with the rebounds. Tip out. Two minutes to go. Corner three, short. Fessel with the rebound. Out to Haycoop. Dylan Haycoop with the lane, can't get it to go. Schwartz, 140 to go. Deergene with the drive and the foul. A little go to the line. Both teams are on the verge of being gassed. You can see it in the way they're moving. Man, they are fighting so hard. Remember, both teams have basically played six, you know, mostly five, and man, they're giving it everything they have on both sides. Deergene will shoot the free throws with 136 to go. Fourth foul on the Vikings. They'll miss the first. No fouls here in the fourth, fourth quarter on the, the Red Devils. Got an offensive board here would be big, but he knocks down the free throw. 44, 39, a minute 30 left. Demir, and pick up the foul. That'd be only the first. Not a bad foul. They can be no. aggressive here, right? Absolutely. Now, it, it, it may, it's one of those weird instances where not fouling it may, may come back to hurt you because then when you try to get to that five, you got to take a little bit more time there. But they can be more aggressive right. here. They get it back. They should foul right now or get aggressive. Yeah, they got to get, they got to get all the way up. Here comes that trap. Fessel weaves his way through. If you're Vernon, you don't need to shoot here. Nothing no, but a layup. Don't. Layup and free throws. Fessel. Smart. With the ball fake, 110 to go. And now Over free, Pecorero. free throws are going to matter. And Coach DeFazio screaming for a foul for his Red Devils. Vernon Ransom clock there, 107 to go. Only the second foul. And that's Schwartz's third, I believe. Yes, it is. Now the same setup for the play they just ran. This time they're going to go to Fessel and be safe. Oh, Over boy. and back. It's because he didn't establish exactly by before right. he caught the basketball, so that is the correct call. And Hunter and Central coach Tristan DeFazio is going to call a timeout. Each team with one timeout left. All right, Brian Thomas takes us into the Hunter and Central huddle. Well, look, you've gotten good shots the last few times down the floor against this 2-3 zone. I mean, these kids have been playing against a 2-3 their entire lives. It's not going to be surprising at this point. Same thing they've been doing. you got to move the basketball. I think you got to use that high post where Shirk has been pretty effective so far, not just of looking to attack, but also those opposite uh, skip passes, reversals out the three-point shooters. And that's where certainly their bread and butter is, looking for that opposite three-point shot. When they've hit a bunch tonight, and they've hit a few hundred this season. So that, that, and then of course, look, we miss it. Don't give up on it. Okay, they're big boys out of the game. We Absolutely. can sneak in and get some offensive rebounds here, and that can lead to our full court press. We still got a couple to give as well. But on those three-point misses, they usually go long, and yeah. that helps a smaller team defensively. So Coach Healy right now, I'm sure, just talking to his kids, saying, keep your composure. We did it against Peeberg. We did it against 
Jefferson. We did it against Hackettstown. Keep your composure. And with number 11 touching the ball, they have a great chance. First and foremost, get the three-point shooters. Number two, we have to find a body, and we've got to just secure a defensive rebound immediately. Number three, once we come back down, make them come to us. we got to get great passing angles so they don't just pick it off and go. Hunter Central with the timeout. See what Vernon does here. Are they picking up? Oh, they corrected that. Vernon's ball. That's a huge call. Okay, so they're huge saying call. so they're saying Alex was already back court before he jumped. They get it in. Wow. Huge call. Koroski's. And Healy calls his last time out. We'll see if that comes back to haunt the Vikings. But going back, I mean, absolutely monstrous call there. Flipping that and giving the ball back to Vernon. Oh, he has one left. I apologize. One left, yeah. Looks like both have one left. So now, <laughs> now if you're Vernon to flip it, you got to stay out of those corners. Right. That, that's where they're coming to trap because it, it effectively adds another defender with the sideline or the baseline or the half court line, sometimes two defenders. So you got to try to keep it more in the middle of the floor. And if your man leaves, it's your responsibility to have a pa create a passing angle for the ball handler so he can see you. If you're open, but your, your, your teammate can't see you, well, then right. guess what? You're not open. Right, exactly. You're just not open. So Vernon's got to work here as a team. And of course, Central, you know what they're going to do. They're coming after him, and they're coming after him hard. Hunter and Central will be in the state tournament next week. They're the sixth seed in North 2 Group 4. They'll host Irvington. And Vernon, the three seed, North 1 Group 2, they'll host Paquanic, a game you'll see on Big State Sports. All right, 102 to go. Vernon's got one timeout. Nope. Vernon's got zero timeouts. They are out of timeouts. So it is zero, yeah. So that's huge. Now huge. you can't call a timeout when you shut inbound. Correct. So or or if they get in a little bit of trouble. Five count is in play here. Always is, but even more so. But out of timeout. They'll get it to Fessel. One minute. Fessel swings it over. Pecorero. Bounce pass to Demir. 55 seconds. Fessel, good job here. Keep it away from the fruit from the foul. And the foul will be on 100 Central. That's just their third. Still got a, still got a ton of time, but if you're going to try to get that steal, that's that's great. But you don't want them to waste another 15, 20 seconds here. That's for sure. Pecorero with the inbound. They'll get it. Good job by Demir on the screen. Yes. And they'll give up the foul. Four fouls. 44 seconds to go. This is if you're Vernon, you got to be disciplined on this out of bounds play right here because you don't have a timeout. You have to get the ball in. They did it. They did not find Fessel on that. Yeah. Alex looking to get fouled, and he gets. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. Vernon hits their free throws. They're going to get their first county championship since 2007 when they went back to back SEIL titles. Steve Myron, assistant coach in Vernon, was on that team. Hit some big free throws in overtime against Sparta. Mickey Sears on that team. Fessel goes to the line. He's got 27 on the night. Shooting two. Six-point lead. This is a big one. Makes it more than a two-possession game. Ice water. Vernon's got to make sure they're not fouling three-point shooters here. And Hack is, I mean, Hunter Central's got to get into it a little bit quicker. Yes. You don't want to force it, but that's what the zone does. Walk. That's what that zone does, Brian that's, Thomas. Yeah, that's exactly right. And Vernon has played it incredibly well here in this fourth quarter, especially with Jurowitz being out of the game. Pecorero, baseball player with a good throw. Fessel 
He wants to get fouled. They won't. Did he step on the baseline? He did, he indeed. It's a little break there for Central. Absolutely. But they got to pick it up here with 26 seconds to go. And Fess are going to slide up just so they don't roll the ball. Dear Gene. He's going to take it. Blocked by Demir. Rebound under the basket. They swing it out. Catch and shoot three. Good. Wow. Big shot. And Hunter and Central will call their last timeout. Landon Marsh, what a huge three. Let's take a look at that again, Paul Arvery. I mean, you talk about a quick release. Holy smokes. It felt like that ball wasn't even in his hands. That was good defense by Demir right there, staying straight up. And a good reversal. There's the find. And wow. That's as quick as a release as you're going to possibly see, and they needed it. I got him with 15 all from beyond the That's arc. right. So neither team with a timeout left. 12 seconds to go. And now you got Vernon taking it out on the baseline. So, Dan, let's see how they play it. Because if they're going to face guard, which they just might, the baseball pass is always in play because you got 75% of the court that's going to be unguarded. If they don't face guard, you're going to look for a trap immediately. So if you're Vernon, you got to be aware of that. And if you're, got, you're, the, you're the guy that's getting trapped, you got to be strong with the basketball. So if you're 100 and central, I mean, you have time for a quick steal, but then you got to foul right away. And also, too, they do score no timeouts. It's not college. Right. The clock does not stop. Correct. The clock, you can get the, you don't want the five count, but it doesn't have to be inbounded. It doesn't clock, the clock doesn't stop right away. So the clock is in favor of Vernon, obviously, no doubt. with 12 seconds when it doesn't stop on a made basket. So that's something to keep in mind, though. If they take too long on this possession, yeah. you don't even have to inbound. If they take seven off, Vernon can just hold the ball. That's right. Neither team with a timeout. So Vernon. A doubling inbound. vessel. They get it to Haycoop. They give up the fouls. 11 seconds to go. Big ones here. You feel like this might seal it. You know Dylan wants to make up for that layup. That's right. And he has a perfect opportunity to do it right here. He's played a strong game. Just a sophomore. Kowalski's a junior. Fessel's a junior. Kowals uh, Haycoop's a sophomore, Pecorero's a sophomore. And look at that, redemption. Big one, really big one. Yes. Coach, Coach Healy reminding his guys, no fouls, no fouls. That's right, and again, if it goes under five seconds, they do not have to inbound. Off, Pecorero rebound, four seconds to go, two, one, and that's it. Vernon has won the championship. 47-42. They are your 2024 Hunter and Warren Sussex champs. What a ball game for the Vikings. And they have fought long and hard to get back to this point. And their young guys stepped up today with Big Big Ben in his huge minutes, and then he went out. And the rest of the team rallied around his absence in the last few minutes of that fourth quarter, and they got it done. Fessel was unbelievable. I'm going to give it away. I'm not <laughs> supposed to. He's the climate care player. Yeah. So if you want to see the interview, please go to our social media. But Alex Fessel, our player of the game. That's Vernon's eighth county championship, first in the 100 Warren Sussex era, first since 2007. Uh, congratulations to Connor Healy and his staff, Cody Hilbert and Steve Myron. Brian Thomas was a good one, and we're gonna have the girls game coming up in about a half hour after this, Voorhees and Pope John. So that'll wrap up our live coverage of the boys' championship game. I wanna thank the maestro, Paul Arby, working the board, Eric Van Arsdale on the camera, my partner, Brian Thomas. I'm Dan Cleary, we'll see you again soon, real soon, on the Big State Sports Network.
Devils will bring it in. This will be Cameron Deergene. So Hunter and Central starting out in straight half court man to man. Vernon's going to go 2 3 to start. From the corner of three, and it's knocked down right out of the gate. It's Matthew Schwartz. And the Red Devils will push it up. This is Schwartz. Vernon came off wins over West Milford and Kinlon from the corner again. And knocking that down is Landon Barsh. And Connor Healy's going to call a timeout already. Pretty much a perfect start for Hunter and Central. They They'll bring it up. A little bit of adrenaline on that first shot. He cut inside. Good hands by Fessel. What a marvelous season the junior's having. Fessel, short jumper, rolls in. And that's what he can do. We saw that one. Jerowitz put it down, and 300 and Central players swarmed him. They work it over to the corner. Good job of closing out there. Vernon was not going to allow an open three. Fessel on the turnover. He's going to take it and lay it in. We're tied. Timeout. It was in every sport. Right. Four and five in the rugged Skyland, Skyland uh, Rarity Division, which houses Peeber. Turnaround jumper. Can't get the roll. Put back. Great job. No one picked him up. That's DG. A little screen and roll possibly here. Fessel keeps it. Looks at time. Beautiful. Great look. Can't finish. Four seconds to go. Haycomb's going to have to put it up, but it will give the Fessel a touch. Good if it goes, and it's good. Zierjean, Schwartz up top, Vernon in that zone. After those first two possessions, Vernon's done a much better job of closing out on those shooters. Terrific take by Schwartz. That's exactly what a, a great basketball. Let's see if they can capitalize. Dear Jean, Vernon's still in that zone, trying to break it with a long three and knocking it down is Marsh. That's his second of the game, the, the second position. And Vernon settled down and relaxed and came out and played their game. You're right, foul trouble, a, a big story so far in this one and will continue to be going forward, so we'll keep an eye on that. Ben Jurowitz with three for Vernon and starting it right off, Dear Jean with the three. Just how they started. Dear Jean has come out. Blocked. Shirk gets to it. Shirk's playing with two fouls. The big man for Central. Fessel with the bounce. Give to Jurowitz. Lays it in. And he's fouled. That's what they, that's what they missed there in that second quarter zone. Here comes a trapping press. Demir swings it over a little too strong. Heiku, good save. Good read by Schwartz. He saw that the whole way. He goes up and gets it in. Nice job by Schwartz getting in the passing lanes. Deugene started the quarter with a three. They work it around, this is what they do, shoot threes and they knock it down. Marsh. Excellent ball movement, doesn't it? Every possession is just magnified. Fessel again. Fessel's playing like a champ. With a little shimmy, Beautiful. gets it to go. Once again, it's like a broken record. Gets his hands in the passing lanes. Inbound on him, Haycoop. Kowarski's got the confidence right now in the corner. Will he unload another one? Fessel comes back for the ball. Deergene, Fessel for three. We're tied! Dan, we talked about this at halftime that Alex was about one. Fatigued at all. No. But if Vernon wants to keep around in this game, they need someone besides him. Left alone again, gets open, knocks down another one. You know what, he's not a bad option either. <laughs> he's got to make sure he's not moving. They switch to Demir. I think they want to keep Ben out yes. for foul trouble. You don't want to get that silly foul on an illegal screen. Fessel with the move, dumps it off to Jurowitz. Back to Fessel for three. Knocks it down, Alex Fessel's on fire. Vernon Jurowitz had an incredible first part of that third quarter and they really allowed Fessel to kind of get his legs back. And then it was time for the Alex Fessel show. Defensively, offensively, three in a row. And make it four. And Mike's not waking four. Holy smokes. So he's got to be smart, remain out here. Schwartz picking up Fessel now. Jurowitz backing in, picks up his dribble, gets it up to Fessel. Up and under, Fessel! 27 for him that three-point line. 
because that's the one shot, obviously, right now that will hurt them the most. There you go. Here comes that three, in and out, tipped up by Shirk, wow. and it goes in. With the left hand. A much needed hoop. They will not shrink from this. Inside, rebound, blocked by Demir. Kick back out, another three, yes! A big three by Landon Marsh. Bounding can be. Yes, it is. Ben with the put back when they upset Fulsberg last week. They'll get it into Demir. He's going to take it, lay it in. That is a beautifully designed play from Coach Healy and executed perfectly. Diergene. He's going to take it. Blocked by Demir. Rebound under the basket. They swing it out. Catch and shoot three. Good. Wow. Big shot. And Hunter and Central will call their last timeout.